and welcome to Finextra TV. I'm Angelica Malin coming to you from Cybos 2023 in Toronto. Today we're talking about compliance and emerging technology. I'm joined by David White from LexisNexis Risk Solutions. David, thank you so much for joining me today. Thanks for having me. It's great to be at Cybos. So as a starting point, can you tell me about some of the key topics that you've been hearing about at Cybos 2023? Well, I, I think inevitably um, there's some themes that have repeated. So I think you know, we're hearing a lot about cost of compliance. We're hearing a lot about, obviously, the ongoing Russian sanctions and the impact that's having. Uh, I think one of the ones that's emerging at the moment is um, the friction in customer experience. I think as a result of more sanctions coming in, banks having to do more checks, then there's a concern on the impact that's having in the customer's experience of making a payment, etc. So you mentioned there about sanctions, obviously Russia's invasion of Ukraine a year and a half ago has had a huge impact, but are these list sanctions slowing down now? What changes are you seeing? Well, I think uh, that there is a slowdown inevitably, and I think obviously what we saw last year was a, a, a massive flurry of sanctions come in and, and quite a bit of uh, work required to accommodate those, etc. Um, I think a lot of that has slowed down and now they've become almost business as usual within the sanctions environment. So I, I do think there is a slowdown. I don't think change has finished. I think inevitably as the geopolitics of this plays out, we are going to see an ongoing evolution of that sanctions regime and how you know, the US, EU, US, etc. choose to try and increase the pressure on, on Russia as a result of using sanctions. Are there other areas emerging beyond Russia that you've noticed? I think, I mean, we've got some ongoing themes that are continue, obviously, Iran, etc. But I think probably what we're seeing is more of an evolution of how sanctions are used. I think what we saw with the Russian invasion is we're going on beyond just sort of what I would call the standards around sanctions that they've been before to things like asset seizures etc which are sort of moving over more almost to reputational risks the banks are taking in financing certain assets or certain asset classes so uh, probably not an expansion so much in geographies but certainly an evolution in the type of sanctions that have been used. And what about technology? What's the role of emerging technology when it comes to tackling some of these problems? Well, I think, I mean, we, we, I hate to use the word, but we kind of almost had a perfect storm last year where we'd seen the sort of hangover from the pandemic of a, a, a general increase in the volume of digital payments and the use of digital payments. We then had a significant increase in the volume of sanctions and the span of sanctions. I think what that resulted in is pretty much everybody was suffering an increase in cost, the need for more personnel, etc. And where the technology really comes into that is twofold. First of all, is being able to deal with that increased volume. So that's you know, us as a vendor really making sure that we're delivering and continue to deliver high performance systems that can cope with the kind of volumes we're seeing. But also then the, the use of AI and emerging technologies like that to try and reduce that cost of compliance. So the more we can automate, the more we can use statistical models or, or, or artificial intelligence models to automate the, the processes, then we can return that cost of compliance down to, to the levels that we, you know, we hope to keep it at. That's it, thank you. Well, thank you so much for sharing your insights with me today, David. No problem, thanks so much for having me.